Hi guys, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, alas, I've been actually away for a while doing real life stuff in places where there's no internet, just armed guards. But I'm back now, and uh, I'm getting back to it. I'm going to go back to streaming and all the fun stuff that we used to do before I have to sort of disappear, so to speak. Anyway. What's this video all about? Well, in this video, I want to discuss something that may be having an impact on the game. Although I personally have no smoking gun evidence to suggest that it does. But there is plenty of circumstantial evidence to raise enough suspicion. Yep, I'm talking about cheating. Look, the world of professional poker, sports fishing and even chess have been rocked recently with allegations of cheating, people doing something to gain an advantage over their opponents in high-level games in order to grab hold of that money pot or title or whatever. So why would Blitz be exempt from the greedy paws of the cheats? Of course, Blitz offers no real money to its players, aside from the professional tours, which, you know, believe me, I mean, people have tried to cheat their way into that with the little to zero success. Thing is, Blitz also offers other in-game rewards, currencies and such, and it's therefore not beyond the balance of probability that people will always seek a way to grab those things or to get a leg up in the game somehow. Let's be honest, we have all seen replays of players doing questionable things in order to get their buddy into, say, the Hall of Fame or something similar, but cheating can, and most likely does, go a lot deeper than that. Some of you may have seen some recent videos posted by the likes of Quickie Baby and Klaus Kellerman, two What PC YouTubers. Now they both looked at cheating and What PC, and you may, like me, start thinking, well, wow, that's What PC, and there's always ways to cheat in a PC environment. The thing is, the Klaus Kellermans video really hit home quite hard and it started me thinking a lot more about Blitz as a whole. Let's be honest, I've always been of the view that cheating in Blitz is not impossible but it, 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 it's not really prevalent. But that view was based on the old ways of cheating, using modifications to the game in order to get that advantage or doing something to the actual mechanics of the game. Little did I know that cheating can involve a lot more sophisticated mechanisms in order to boost a player and allow a player to grab those game rewards. What Klaus Kellerman identified in his video is that there are entities, basically companies, composed of players out there that offer to boost your account for a fee. Most of the time, it's to grind an event tank or a special tank, and that was the whole purpose behind the recent What PC videos on this particular subject. Now, the idea is that players who want this tank, but they're either not skilled enough or don't have the time to grind it, could therefore employ this company or these people to do it for them. Now, I initially thought, wow, it's only really applicable to What PC. After all, we and Blitz don't really have these kind of events. And those events that we do have are not overly difficult to achieve, let's be honest. Okay, we have the Fearless series of tanks. Those are the tanks that are reward vehicles to those who hit the top spots in ratings or grab enough parts by doing well in ratings. But these tanks are basically no different aside from the skins in the name to their tech tree counterparts. And as such, you're not really losing out if you don't actually have them. Yes, there are some rare tanks in the game, like the AE Phase 1, but you can't grind that. You know, you have to crate that, and you have to be lucky enough to firstly buy the battle pass, and then be lucky enough to get the crate. I mean, the drop rate is absolutely insane, and the chances of getting it is incredibly slim. But, boy, was I wrong. There are so many other parts to this game that attracts those offering what can only be described as a cheat service. Now, and I'll put on the screen here, I did a quick search on the internet and I came across quite a few sites that offered exactly that. A service that will boost your actual account in various ways 
Now these services are generally offers to grind your account in order to gain XP, credits, or even win rate. And they come in a variety of prices and options. The one that blew me away was this one down here for $1,723. I mean, that's $1,723. That's, that's, that's a lot of money by every stretch of the imagination. And that will basically upgrade your branch or boost your account. I mean, that's just craziness. You know, that's just mad. You aren't gonna be paying a lot of money for somebody to play your game. Others are offering 60% win rate, like, you know, you've got this, this, this one here who is offering, uh, you know, he'll, he'll give you, he'll grind the whatever whatever you want to grind, etc., etc. There are others, sorry, there are others who will raise your average damage to 3,500 to 4,000. You will get a 5K rating, raise your average damage. One here, I play for a 64% win rate. All these things are payable, and all of them are cheating. All of them are gaining something from the game that is being done surreptitiously. The reason it's cheating because it's it's all a breach of the game rules in the EC in, in the uh, end user license agreement. No matter how many ways you try to cut it or stretch it or argue it, and seeing this along with the videos for what PC, especially one by Klaus Kellerman, the piney kind of dropped for me, guys. Look. I've, as I said, I've got no solid evidence that people are actually employing cheats and going out and cheating. But how many times have you rolled out into a battle only to have total muppets on your team? Players who, to, who appear to be totally clueless, but are rolling out in a top tier tank. Now the chances are this happens more often than you care to think about. Now interestingly, what Klaus was able to show in his video is that there are people out there in fact, there's a company out there of around 20 players that will try to most likely jump into a game all together in order for some of them to play dumb on the enemy side, some to play dumb on the ally side, whilst one of the players farms the damage and gets the job done. That's not beyond the balance of probability or any stretch of the imagination that this is actually happening in Blitz also. Because you can't say that it's only unique to what PC. That's that's quite naive. Because generally what happens in what PC most certainly happens in Blitz. And this website here is uh, you know is testament to that. Because if these if, if people weren't if, if it didn't exist, then these websites wouldn't exist and these adverts wouldn't exist. So it does exist. Now if it does exist, then this may account for some of the very odd gameplay that we see on occasion. Gameplay that beggars belief and gameplay that makes zero sense to anybody who's played the game for any stretch, any length of time. Now the thing is, if somebody is offering such a service, such as farming win rate or damage, then the chances are they are rolling out with a buddy or two who will either be a tomb mate or in some kind of accounting and maybe on the enemy team or on the allies team who then plays like a complete potato in order to allow the booster to do what they are actually being paid to do. And like I said, I have no solid evidence of this, but I have seen platoons that involve very, very experienced players teamed up with, well, you know, really inexperienced ones. I'm talking about, you know, 55% player plus with, I don't know, 40, 50,000 battles under his belt, playing with a 40% win rate player with next to no battles under his belt. And who generally is clanless and is called player one two three four five. Yeah, now it's purely circumstantial and only my suspicious mind is leading me down this path along with Klaus Kellerman's video. And it may well be totally innocent. A buddy who was a good player trying to get his buddy who was a bad player, uh, you know, more in, in, in tune with the game. But as I said, what generally happens in what PC will eventually end up in blitz and there are literally hundreds of posts offering such services. So it must happen. It stands to reason in its logic. The thing is, I really do not understand why anyone would want to part with their well-earned real-life cash to have somebody else play the game for them, which is basically what you're doing. That is totally counterproductive to what the game is meant to represent namely a route of entertainment for you and a little bit of escapism for the person playing. I mean, yeah, 
I get that some out there want the stats and such, but having great stats that have been obtained by another achieves nothing personally for you. Because if you sucked before you paid, the chances are you will continue to suck after you pay. Because your account is being boosted not by you, but by somebody else. And when you jump back into your account, your, 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 your skill level will come back. Simple as that. I really don't agree with any form of cheating. I mean, there's no point in it whatsoever. But more importantly, I don't want you to waste your money on these kind of offers because they will not help you one little bit. They merely lie in the pockets of the cheats, who in turn are the ones reaping all the benefits. I mean, they're the ones rolling out and blowing shit up for the fun factor, not you. Now, I get that many of you out there want the stats and may struggle to get them. But trust me, getting somebody to boost your stats will not result in you being able to maintain those stats. Because as I say, over time you will lose everything you paid for, and possibly more if Wargaming ever find out. Don't give in to these cheats. Play the game for the reason intended, for you to have some fun and for you to do your best. Your stats in time will improve, and you will be rewarded without having a lighter bank account. I mean, the game already costs an arm and a leg in a lot of respects. So why on earth would you even consider spending your hard-earned cash on such crap? I, I myself wouldn't. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my brief look on this because I've had a lot of messages about the what PC videos. And I would have addressed it earlier, but as I said, I've been away, unfortunately, to a different part of the world, not too far from here. Um, that is uh, sort of lacking in internet and other things. Please go and check out Klaus Kellerman's video. Admittedly, it's about what PC. But you'll get the idea and you'll get to understand where everybody's coming from this because it's really, really insightful. Anyway, as I said, I've been Fujit. That's just been some food for thought. I really don't have any solid evidence of this. This is just something that I want to get out there and get a discussion going. So by all means, guys, comment below and everything because that's the whole idea of these videos is to generate debate and discussion and comments. And until the next time, Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because it is only a game, and at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and being happy.